Kya ora, mabuhay ug maayong adlaw sa tanan. Welcome to the Nine Days Novena in honor of St. Pedro Kalungsod. Due to the coronavirus outbreak, the New Zealand government have placed restrictions to safeguard the well-being of its present residents. As a result, gatherings such as masses and novena services in the New Zealand Catholic Diocese are temporarily ceased. In response to this, St. Pedro Kalungsud New Zealand devotees have decided to make ways so that we can pray together as one community. We are now on the second day of the Novena in preparation for St. Pedro Kalungsud's feast day. If you have missed the first day, don't worry. You can still catch up. Just go to our YouTube channel, St. Pedro Kalungsud Devotees NZ, to view the first day novena. And now, we start our novena. We would like to invite everyone to be in the presence of our Lord Jesus Christ. By the sign of the cross, deliver us from our enemies, O Lord our God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. All together, Lord Jesus Christ, we kneel before you in worship, praise, and thanksgiving for the infinite love that you have shown to us sinners through your humble incarnation, bitter passion, and cruel death on the cross. By your wounds we are healed, by your death we are restored to life. Forgive us for not having returned love for you. In your suffering, you have left us an example so that we may follow in your footsteps the life of your young martyr and our brother, Saint Pedro Kalungsod. Proves to us that it is possible to follow you even up to death. Be pleased with this novena that we are making in his memory. With his help, we shall strive to be living witnesses to your love. Through patient endurance in daily trials and selfless service to our neighbor, so that after having joined you in your redeeming passion here on earth, we may also come to share in your glorious resurrection at the end of time and love you eternally in heaven, where you live and reign with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Daily Prayer, all together. O Saint Pedro Kalungsud, exalted son of the Visayas, we call upon you, who now enjoy that heavenly glory which you merited for following our Lord Jesus Christ along the way of the cross. God has given you to us as a model of a true Christian, as a companion on our pilgrim way to the heavenly kingdom, and as a helper in the midst of our difficulties. Make our troubles and good intentions your own and intercede for us before the throne of mercy and grace, so that like you, we may also become fellow citizens of the saints there in heaven. Amen. In silence, let us present our intentions to Saint Pedro Kalungsod. Second Day Novena Living the Faith Faith is dead if it is separated from good deeds. Happy are those who hear the word of God and obey it. Altogether, O Saint Pedro Kalungsud, nothing has been found written about your baptism nor about your preaching, yet we know that you are a Christian, not only by your Christian name, but more so by your faithful and selfless service to the Mariana Mission. Your companion missionaries testified to your virtuous life, and they called you a good Catholic. These are but sure proofs of your baptism. 
O true Son of the Church, many of us are Christians by name, but not in deeds. Help us to live our faith in our thoughts, words, and actions, so that like you, we may be true followers of Jesus Christ and be worthy to be called Christians. Join us now as we pray for the world leaders so that they may enact laws and promote programs that are in accord with Christian principles for the common good of humanity and for the freedom to practice the Christian religion. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Altogether, Saint Pedro Calungsud, lay catechist and martyr, help us to become saints like you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you everyone for joining us today for the second day novena in preparation for Saint Pedro Calungsud's feast day on the 2nd of April, Thursday. We would also like to take advantage of this moment to remind you and your families to please stay inside your homes. And if it is necessary to go out to shop for your needs, please keep two meters distance from other people. If in doubt, and if you have any other questions, please go to the official government website, which is www.covid19.govt.nz. We would also like to remind everyone to please be kind. And let us pray for all the people who are suffering. Let us also pray for all the frontline people, not, at, not just for the health personnel, the police personnel, but also those people working in the essential needs departments, such as retail stores like Countdown and Pack and Save, and people who are working in our public transports. And finally, let us take this opportunity to reconnect with family and friends. See you tomorrow for the third day novena. Have a good day and God bless everyone.